Daydream Skitcher, Floss 244, featuring super duper epic mega epic set skitches. Hey, I'm Mary, I'm Mary the, the Daydream, Daydream Stitcher. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm I'm epic now. <laughs> I've become epic. I've um, ascended. Okay. Um, I think that I'm Mary the Daydream Stitcher. Are you also? I am now. You're just plain old Zat Stitches now. Okay, I'm Zat Stitch. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And I am Daydream Stitcher. Today's April the 6th. It's been three weeks since my last video, and I can tell this video is going to be all and over the place. Something like three or four months since my last video. At least. <laughs> At least. Zat Stitches was with me last in December around Christmas time when I attempted to do Flossmas vlog videos every day. It kind of fizzled out, but we had fun doing what we is did. Hair right? sticking out on my head. Probably your hair's getting wavy and curly as you can tell. It's kind of fun. Yeah. All right. Well, you'll have to call your hair hair Teddy cutter pen. person. Um, so let, let's try to let's try to refocus. I feel yeah, like we're sort just of like the camera needs to refocus. All over the place. Um, so what are we talking about today? Do you have stitching to show? I do, but I'm not showing it yet because I wanted to make it a surprise. Are you going to do it on your channel? Yes, I'm going to do it on my channel. Okay, so stay tuned. Hopefully Zat Stitches will be back. I know a couple of people return. have asked about him. Thank you for that. Um, a lot of people were excited to see yes, teenage indeed. boy stitching. That's like so rare. So, or at least on Floss Tube. One of rare. a kind. Yeah, so please do come back. We want to see you There's back. There's only Thank one you. Daydream Stitcher and that's me. <laughs> you hear that? And of course here's Zat Stitches. If you're interested in They have a channel. It's one of the channels. So, um, I am completely blown away, like I don't even know what to say, but I reached over 2,000 subscribers. I think Whoa, it was like 2006. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I find epic. it hard to believe. I keep thinking I'm going to check it. And I actually found out through Darcy Cameron. He actually texted me, did you know you were at 2,000? I'm like, no. So, thank you for that, Darcy. It's like, happy birthday. Yeah, so I'm going to do another giveaway in this video, and I thought, trying to figure out what to do, and I thought the easiest thing for me is to give a gift card, so I'm going to do a $20 gift card to 123Stitch, and I will talk about that some more at the, somewhere in this video. Imagine I entered. Somewhere, I, I'll, I'll throw it in. You're going to enter? Yeah, I imagine I won, <laughs> and you just gave it to me. Isn't that a conflict of interest? Aren't, aren't like employees or whatever, like of a, of a company not <laughs> supposed to be eligible? Sure, yeah. I guess I have to go over like the list of rules that I don't have. Oh wait, so, I'm not your employee. <clears throat> no, technically you should not. pay me now. You're in the same company though, the same household. Mm. Anyway, um, so that's exciting. So thank you to all of my subscribers, both new and returning. I know some of you have been with me since the very beginning. And Just some like of me. You are new. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have. You were um, what? Seven probably when I started. Yeah, Man. when I started on Floss Tube, you were seven. So, um, so yeah, I'm that's the exciting. I'm the most and I, I'm really flattered that you guys are along with me for my stitching journey. So, thank you so much. Um, Back you up, Chief. I should I just go ahead and jump in? I don't have any finishes to show as usual. I have a new start. Should I show the new start first? Sure. If I can find it, I just had it here. So I am doing. Okay, so one of my reasons for this video that I wanted, one of the things I want to talk about in this video is my May plans. It's already May 6th. We're already through the first week of May, but I do have, May I have had plans. May the 6th be with you. That's Star Trek. What is the Star Trek thing? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I do it. I'm sure it's not Star, Star Wars Trek. though. So it's What's the Star Wars sign? Is there a Star Wars sign? No, there isn't. So I'm just saying like, why would you do Star Trek sign for? Yeah, I don't know. Because I'm confused. Like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, so in May, so Mania, some of you are probably familiar with Stitch Mania that was started, I think, by Coffee Stitcher a few years ago, where he was going to start a new piece every day of May. And that's Man. still popular. I don't think he's doing that anymore, but um, Do a cool it's, start some people still enjoy doing that. I've tried, I tried that one year, and even the thought of it, I can't even. Isn't that what the kids are saying? Do the kids still say that? What? I can't even. I've never heard that. Oh, I thought that was a thing. Maybe it's no longer a thing. Weird. It doesn't even make sense to me, but anyway, I can't even think about like doing it, so there's no way. 
However, I do participate in Stitch Sania when I can, and that's something that Lindy Stitches, Stephanie, talks about. Stitch Sania, where she starts, or she has in the past, she starts one piece per week if she's gotten her other stitching done. So I'm hoping to do one start per week. I know other years that didn't really work out that way, but I did get one start so far at the, on May 1st. I started something. And I've really been this year, I've only started I think two other things this year and I've really been wanting to get my whips done. I've really wanted to finish, get some things finished because my whips have been piling up and um, I've been really good about not starting new things as much as I usually do. I thought whips were like outlawed now. Are they? I mean, I would think so. <laughs> well, like why, why would you need a whip? Like you're just gonna hurt someone with it. Well, it's whip is work in progress. I know. Okay. It's supposed to be a really bad pun. I'm just gonna. So, <laughs> so if <laughs> if it's outlawed, then I don't have to even work on them. I could just start something new all the time and never have any finishes. So that when I'm gone, you guys will just have like 250 half finished projects to hang on the wall. <laughs> That's honestly part of my motivation. Is like I don't want to leave behind a bunch of half finished projects I'll or even like a couple of stitches. He's not gonna let you. You can try, but he's gonna scratch you probably. So this is very rambly and I apologize. Um, so I did start, I was doing some let me show you in the middle of it to let, occupy let them. Let me show you my start so that I can show Ooh. some actual stitching. This is, oh here, I actually have the actual picture to show this time. Usually I have to pop it in on the um, thing. Can you see? Do you need new glasses? Right. Yeah, I do. This is called Matter in Hand and it's different stitching elements and in different, they cross stitch in different languages. See? Oh, that's cool. So we were, a couple of us are stitching it together. I'm saying like Japanese or anything. Beth at Stead Pet Stitcher, Nithya at Daybreak Stitchery, Maria at Cup of Stitches, and a number of other people on Instagram and FosTube are stitching this with us. We started on the first. Oh, wait. And know. some of us are um, putting in more yeah, languages right, or it. changing we'll languages. Where are you going, Teddy? He's are you gonna up. jump up there? This is Teddy Bear. He's he's Teddy. my favorite of all of our animals. No, they're all my favorites. Okay, they're all awesome, but he's he's the best. Maggie. What about Maggie and Stuff yeah, Mom? Yeah, Maggie's awesome. We have too many pets, but any that's another story. And 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 Skylar so and this Cub is, Doug and So to Cookie to be more to the point, um, matter in hand, I started on the first, I worked on it for twenty four hours, not not continuous twenty four hours, but I had it in my queue snap for twenty four hours from the first the evening of the first to the evening of the second. Speed and run this is what I got done. Yeah, I wish. I wish I was a speed runner when I cross stitch I'm not. Cross stitch speed runner. I got I got to like my thing, town. yeah. I got I gotta do that when I like get more popular. Like it's my thing, like speed run. Yeah, stitch with me speed run competition. Yeah. Um so this is what I got done so far. Almost finished with this hoop. This is uh a, I think this is really cute, this little hoop with the ABC sampler. And I'm doing this in the DMC conversion because I just didn't have the fancy flosses and I didn't feel like getting them right now. So these are all DMC. This is on a 36 count vintage country mocha, which I know is super popular. This is a 36 count linen and I love it. This is Looks the first like time I stitched pillow. on here. I think I made that joke before, didn't I? I'm sure you probably have. <laughs> it's kind of fun. So that's my start for so far. And then this weekend, I think on the 7th, on Saturday, I'm starting a new piece with Darcy, and we're trying to come up with a hashtag for it. Beer. So if hashtag anybody wants beer. to start that with us, I think we'll probably be posting on Instagram about it and figuring it out. Beer. Hashtag beer. Yeah, I'm sure like Darcy that. would be, yeah. It's a Nevermore piece. It's a Raven Nevermore piece. So just so, do hashtag Nevermore. Or hashtag I know, it seems so Raven or hashtag Nevermore beer. Bad eye. Do bad eye. You, you gotta put like, you gotta put like, um, how do you spell it? Like B E W D Y Bell Day. Bell Day. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> my homeschooled kid here, like with the great spelling, right? No. Yeah. Um so where was I? Anyway, that's that's gonna be a start this weekend and I hope you could join us for that. That's the Leela Studio Nevermore. That I know Beth at the Steadfast Stitcher is also stitching. And then I don't have for sure, I don't know for sure what my next starts are for the rest of the month. If I do them, I know other years I didn't get to all all the starts that I planned. So we'll see. I would like to start, uh, have a dimensions kit with seashells that I really keep wanting 
to do to put in my bathroom because my front bathroom is in a seashell kind of beam so I thought I would like to put that up so I might start that and I might start the one of the seasonal cottages from Country Cottage Needleworks we'll see I, I promised myself I wasn't going to say um in my video and I'm saying it so I, I'm going to try not to do that anymore um. Whipgo. I've been doing Whipgo and I think I've been doing pretty well with it. It's been helping me stay on track and making some good, obvious progress. So for the month of April, my two Whipgo calls was, were, were, were this Instagram was work. one of them. This is Do Different from Long Dog Samplers. I don't know yet if I'm going to pop in a picture of anything yet or not. I where can. I was or what it looks like. I haven't decided. But this is where I am right now. Okay. Sorry. I won't cover you up. <laughs> it's alright. And I got the 15 hours and more on that. I'm not sure really what I was at. Once I get to 15 hours, that's my goal. And then I keep, you know, if I keep going, I don't count the time anymore. This is on a 25 count Lugana in Silver Moon, I think. Or maybe it's just antique white. I don't know. Something. Yeah, I think it's antique white. And with the DMC 310. Just all monochromatic. One over one. Let's toss them over there. And then my other piece for April Whipgo was my Hobbit House, which is called Green Court Yard in the Shire. And here's where I am on this. Sorry. Are you Shire about? And it's almost done because it only goes to right like along here so or whatever that edge is so i just have to do this there's actually a table yeah. and a chair isn't that tr the the door supposed to be blue it depends on i can't figure out whose house this is because i think that i think bilbo's is green and, and sam's is yellow so i don't know what i don't know that it ever shows us frodo's in the movie does it yeah it would i mean he Oh, no, it wouldn't have. There are usually a Bilbo's house. Because I tried to look that up. Bilbo's once. is blue. Is it? Yeah. No, Bilbo's is green, I'm pretty sure. Is it blue? We're going to we're gonna check that out and get back to you um, and see. But I know Sam's is yellow at the very end, or at least the house that he moves in with. With Ro Is her name Rose at the end? Did, Did you know in the book that Sam and Frodo live together for a while and they declare their love for each other and then he, Sam gets married and Frodo's like, bruh. going away. He's, a, he's like, bruh. Yeah. No. Anyway. Okay, so that's that for April. So I was happy with my progress for that. For May, the two Whipgo numbers, well, three num Whipgo numbers were called. 13 was called, which is a free space, which I don't know if I'm going to like use that specifically or if I'm going to use it for... My mini starts for Mania, I'm not really sure. But the two actual pieces that were called, I don't remember the numbers, but one of them was the minstrel, which of course, I got my project bag out and the piece is not in there, of course, in true fashion. So I can't show you my piece where I am. I haven't started stitching on it yet for this month. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you my, a picture, a picture of the-, the I'm the picture? <laughs> no, you're not, are you a minstrel? But you're pointing at me. I'm going to put it somewhere. Are you going to put it on me? I'll put it between us. Don't I'll do this. Put it there. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll show you where I was last time. I'm sure it's a blurry, a blurry cell phone picture of, my last, <laughs> of one of my last videos. And then the other one that was called was my giant Harry Potter. And I did work on this this week. So let me see they if I can... They look like beans. Yeah, they look like those Fisher-Price little people, I think. Yeah. I love them. They look so cute. This is Cloud's factory and most of their people used to look like this and now they've changed them and they look different. They put legs on them now and they look different. Um, they're I taller and skinnier, but I'm sorry, I'm going in. Okay. So I worked on the Ravenclaw banner this week, filling that in. I'm going with blue and copper per the book. In the movie, it's blue and silver, I think, but in the, or blue and black. In the book, it's blue and bronze. So I'm going with that. For the book, I finished the Hogwarts Express banner. I'll be honest, I don't like that lettering. I think that that lettering could be much improved. But then again, I know that lettering is hard to do. Get off. Uh-oh. Get off. <laughs> oh, Teddy just jumped up on my piece on my Q-snap. All right, I'm now Teddy gets to be shown. I'm going to show him real quick. 
He just he just showed himself. Now I'm gonna show him more. So uh, what else did I do on here? I'm gonna sit on her cross um, now. Yeah, that was pretty much it so far this week. I worked on it for three hours, so I look forward to putting him <laughs> in. There he is. He hates to be held. He loves to come to you. Yeah, see, I yeah, <laughs> some, like, an attempt. He loves to come and cuddle, and he's. He's our friendliest, most personable, affectionate cat. Hey, Maggie But it's is all on his too. terms. He's part Maine Coon. What about Maggie? And he's, um, he's got the Maine Coon personality and the chirping Good and all the things, but he hates to be carried around. He hates to be Maggie carried. lets you carry around, though. I call him Mufasa because he's very, like, you know, king of his kingdom. And, and so kings, I guess, don't, they're not toted around. Yeah. Although they're, they, they're carried, like, in, in ancient times, weren't they carried around on those... Maybe not in his time. What do they call him? A litter? Was it called a litter? No. I don't know. A <laughs> litter. A litter box. Maybe lion kings were not carried around though. Can you imagine Mufasa being like toted around? No. So, anyway. Totally off topic. Let me show you what else I've been working on besides my whip go pieces because I've been picking things up. Oh! Part of my stitch mania or stitch sania plans is also instead of starting a new piece every day in addition to starting a new piece weekly. I'm also going to try to work on a different whip every day. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep that up, but I thought that way I could touch most of my whips because I have around 30, I think. I'm not sure exactly how many I have, but I thought that would be nice to be able to at least put a few stitches in on my various whips and pick up some things that I haven't worked on in a while. Because my Harry Potter, um, it's been over a year, I think, probably since I've worked on that. So um, it was fun. To, it's fun to get that out and, and going again. This is what's on my cue snap right now, which is should have been done ages ago. No excuses. I say that every time I show it. However, I did. I do have a lot more to show than last time. This wise man is well. Pretty much all the wise men are done except this one, obviously. And then these guys, their faces need to be finished. So you try to see. They're it. faceless. I started on this one. I did his nose wrong, but he has so he has a very different facial features than he was supposed to. But hey, I see. everybody's who his nose was too high. I I put his nose up one higher. It was supposed to come down here by the mustache. Uh, do you need to? But it's one over one. No, it was an accident. Mm. It's one over one skin, and I'm not ripping that out on linen. So his nose is going to stay up there, <laughs> which means that his forehead is like strange but that's okay he's like nose and then forehead but you know what it works i i'm happy and i'm i'm really enjoying i don't know if i've mentioned it lately i know i did a while ago i'm enjoying working with skin to different skin tones and making them diverse and I, i'm not i'm not stitching their skin the way that it's charted um so that's fun i'm i'm really enjoying that looking at different charts for skin tones and things like that this is really slow going now that I'm doing metallics. Um, I feel like the metallics really slow me down, but it's going to be worth it. See the sparkly? Oh wow, it's so cool. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, it's a pain to stitch with, but it's fun and I enjoy it. I think it's going to be so worth it. So I'm going to go in and I need to finish filling this in and this in, and then once they're done, once the wise men are done, I just need to go and finish the border, which is halfway done. Finish the border and then do the beading. And I make that oh sound my. like it's only... You got the whips and you're doing beading? Oh my goodness. Oh my. Yeah, I have to beat it, so. <laughs> and then I also am working on this, or I have worked on, I should say, my Soda Stitch. Is this cute or what? This is Yoga Cats by Soda okay. Stitch. And this is on a 28 Good. count. Awesome. It must be, it's an even weave. Um, from Hand Dyed by Rolanda, and this was, uh, they're not named, but this was a piece that was sent, whoops, that was sent to me generously by Rogue Mama Stitcher, Amber, my sweet friend. The one and only. The one and only Rogue Mama. She is, she is a sweetheart, and she's unique among women. Um, so thank you, I love this piece, I love stitching on it, it's beautiful, and I love soda. She's like the queen of, she is the queen of soda We better stitch. brush your teeth a lot. I'm lost, Ryan. I don't know what you're talking soda. about. Soda. Oh, yeah. I love soda. I don't drink soda, do I? So I, I get my yeah. soda through my, my Soda Stitch Cross Stitch. So these little feet, I think they're so cute and so sweet. I love them so much. So I need to get her done. She's, they're doing uh, the same yoga pose. 
And then like, I think they're all matched up. Like there's a cat and a girl for each yoga pose along the row there. And it's all done in DMC. Worked a little bit more on this beauty. And this has got a lot of hanging threads, so I apologize, sorry. You know, if you've watched me much, you know that that's my thing. I tend to leave it hanging and I don't tend to iron as much as I should. Didn't you say that's one of your pet peeves, people? And they leave them hanging like that? Because they get all tangled up. Was that you who said that? No. Somebody told I me. I always leave my threads hanging. Somebody told me it's one of the biggest pet peeves is when people leave it hanging. Maybe that was Darcy who or something. Who are you talking about? And then I mean, what who are you Darcy? talking to? Oh, yeah, probably was Darcy. It's probably... You probably can't stand to watch my videos because of all <laughs> I don't blame that darn, it. Well, it's darn hanging thread. I can't, I'm turning this off. That's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, I've been trying to, be, to get better. Actually, I had a bunch of hanging threads on these other ones and I trimmed them off before I did this video. But this one I missed, so I'm, I'm going with it. Sorry. Sorry. This is the Fruits of Plenty. Mm, stitch along for last year, 2021, and I'm woefully behind, but I did... I did start March. See, I have the tulip for March. One of the tulips. This is done in 799 and 3750 yeah, in DMC. Like a wild stitch. And it's done on 36 count. Yes, Silver Moon by Zweigart. And it is. There's one of these panels for each month. So this is January, February, and then that's March. And then it goes down. So there's three in each row. So that one, I love that one. I love being able to pull it out and just have the two colors to stitch in. It's amazing what those two colors can do, like the, how it looks. Oh Ooh, no. Ooh, that one. Cover your eyes. There's more hanging threads. This is, your, is this still your favorite? Yes. I worked on my Heaven and Earth design. Um, Treasure Hunt Bookshelf. Let me see if I can pull this and way. Despite me not caring for books. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty like, looking. You don't like books, but you like this. Teddy. So here's my treasure hunt bookshelf again, and I did put a few more stitches in it. Um, I worked mostly down here. I actually ripped out something that was years, needing to be ripped out for years. I used the wrong color above the candle, mm. and I had left it, and I was stitching here, and I said, oh no, I still have that. Like a purple so candle or something cool. Wouldn't that be neat? Like a little purple flame. Yeah, so I, I put a, cool. a lot of stitches in, like down here, and, and worked on that, and then I also worked on the red books and some more up here. So just uh, no rhyme or reason really with this one. I just kind of work wherever. Um, I'm sure it drives my friend Carla crazy because she does a lot of heaven and earth and stitchy witch and the stitch and witch. Teddy, Teddy. And she actually um, uh, was talking recently about how she sees people that have like these pieces that they they have stitches down here and they have stitches, random stitches here and they have stitches. Okay, well. We got cut off that Ryan figured out. I didn't even realize. I was just going rambling along and I was showing this, right? What did you knock over? Oh, oh. you knocked over Sherlock. Uh -oh, Poor Sherlock. I'm sorry, Sherlock. <laughs> okay. Poor Sherlock. So anyway, um, Treasure Hunt bookshelf. I feel like it's not focusing. Doesn't it look blurry from here? I can't tell. This is uh, done on 25 count one over one, which I love doing the one over one. And I was, I don't know if, I don't remember if I already said, but I was talking about how my stitches are kind of all over the place. And my friend Carla, the stitch witch, she does a lot of heaven and earth designs. And she's very methodical and meticulous about how she stitches row by row. And I love it. And um, she was talking recently about how she doesn't know how people can stitch when it's all over the place like this, like a few stitches down here and a few stitches up there. I don't know, but it's how my mind works. So that's what I do, but it eventually adds up and shows the picture and I absolutely love this piece. This is the color expansion. So it's, um, oh, I forget how many colors. Somewhere around maybe 160 or something like that. Uh, so it's in between the regular and the max color. And I really, I like it. I yeah. think it's beautiful, the colors in it. It's delicious. Should we just go with it or leave or cut it? We don't have a whole lot more time before we get to leave. So that's that's it on whips. Ooh. I don't have haul to show because I didn't buy anything this time. But 
It looks like you have someone delivered you a gift. Mm-hmm. Fan mail. Well, stitchy kindness. Fan I mail. I got this beautiful... Nice. <laughs> no, the stitching community is just so nice. They, everybody, they want to share. With, we want uh -huh. to share with each other. Um, my friend Mary at Mary Stitching Corner, who I absolutely love, she sent me this beautiful handmade card. She makes cards, and she actually has an Etsy shop on... Well, Etsy. Yeah. Where she sells cards, handmade cards. So this beautiful butterfly card that says friend, and she wrote such a sweet note. And the inside, and she's got her stamp on the back, handmade with love by Mary. See, I don't think it's focusing. It's all right. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to make it focus. Focus, focus. Will you focus? There, focus. There we go. So did, it, did this part focus? Looks focused to me. Now see, it's not focusing on us. That's what it's supposed to do. So now it's making me wonder if it didn't focus before on the stitching. So we shall see. And well, then she uh, included... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I messed it up. Oh, no. There we go. She Now it doesn't want to focus on this. See, it's totally confused. <clears throat> amateur hour beautiful. this beautiful this cute little needle minder an owl oh cute <clears throat> isn't it adorable can i see yeah i can't see it oh so i, I actually had it on my stitching and i put it back on the card to show here you should put like a real feathers on it with glue yeah, onto it but that would be hard if you're trying to put on a like thing. little tiny feathers so i feel like i should go back to how i had it set before thank you it's all my life i got in the mail from Steven, who is a viewer, has been viewing my channel, and he is a woodworker as well as a cross stitcher. Oh, what is that? And he made this, is it called a horn book? I hope I'm saying that right. This beautiful, whimsical piece to put my Nightmare Before Coffee. Remember that piece I did? To put that on here as a wow. finish, and then I can hang it on the wall. Oh, nice. And it's, it's all whimsical, like Nightmare Before Christmas. Isn't that adorable? I love and it. It's so lovely oh, and beautiful, so cool. and it's so smooth. And I feel it. I'm trying to keep it in the package so I don't scratch it before mm. I. Yeah. So thank you so much for that. That is just one. That is just beautiful and lovely. And I I can't wait to put my piece on that and get it hung up. Um, it's gonna look so good on that <clears throat> with the white. And then there's something else I've been wanting to share that is not necessarily in quite the same as this but I keep meaning to show it and mention it. And for whatever reason, it's passed me by. And then by the time I upload my video, I say, oh no, I forgot that I was gonna do this. And, and I'm always thinking of it. I don't know why I didn't do it. So going back to Modern Folk Embroidery, Fruits of Plenty, yeah. my, there, I have an Instagram friend who, is, who stitched this piece uh, with, using just the four corners of it. And I'm gonna pop in a picture so she goes by X Stitcher on Instagram. X space. I didn't know you could have that. I thought you had to have an underscore. But it looks like X space Stitcher. And she, I'm going to put the picture in and she stitched this beautiful design of the Fruits of Plenty where she just stitched um, the four seasons basically from the four corners of the piece in her own colors and her design. And I think it's just, it's awesome. And it, it underscores how. Stitchers can make something their own and take something that a designer came up with and then do their own design based on that with their own color scheme and their own pattern. It couldn't have been easy to put those together and make them work and be cohesive, oh, yeah. you know, when they weren't like that way on the pattern. So that's challenging. And she told me that she had sent a picture of that to Chris Cross Stitch also to show. And so I asked her if he has an exclusive on that one because I would like to show it too. And I meant to show it months ago and I'm sorry that I had it yet. So thank you for um, sharing that with me and thank you for letting me share that with everyone else that is along with us it today. It looks cool, it looks really good. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It's so lovely, yeah. Is it, that's the one you just showed, right? It's the same, yes. just different? Yes, she did different colors and then she did, she took four of the panels and put them together Yumminess. instead of doing all 12. That would be hard to do. Which is great because then it gets finished and framed, you know, mm -hmm. which mine might not be ever. <laughs> Yeah, it would be hard to do because she had to figure out how to make them work. Yeah. So that they were symmetrical and everything. So great job on that. So now we are going to talk about the giveaway. 
Oh, you remember one. what I said at the beginning? Twenty dollar gift card. Twenty dollar gift card. I meant to pop that in in the middle of my whips, and I think I might cut this and pop it in in the middle. Yeah, because people know where to look for that stuff. Yeah. I'll be sneaky. I'll be sneaky so my friends find it when they're watching my whip boring whip parade thing. So um, so I'm gonna pop this in there. Surprise. We're gonna do twenty dollar gift certificate to one two three stitch. I'm gonna, I can't say an exact date, but I'm gonna try to come back in two weeks. Might be one, might be four. <laughs> Usually my goal is two weeks now. Um, so before my next video, so if you watch this, be sure to do, what should we make the keyword and not spaghetti? We, um, we, we blobfish. That. Blobfish, one word? Yes, blobfish. One fish, fish. Tell, the, tell the lovely people how to spell that, please. B-L-O-B, -O -B, blob. F I S H. One fish. word? All one word. Blobfish. You can count on Zat to make it fun. He always come up with these yes. random things. And people are going to look at the comments without watching and be like, why is everybody. I'll just type blobfish. That must be the code word, right? That's the thing you know people do when you do those kind of words and people are like, yeah, that, that's why they're in there. Anyway, that's okay. It's still funny. I'm not that sneaky. It's still cute. It's, it's good. And I'm not going to have that many entries. So. Please, well, I would love for you Pretty to join please. me in that. What else are we going to talk about? Anything else? Me. No. Talk about you. Well, what have you been doing? Have you been stitching? A little bit. Not really. But I've been stitching again now. Just today. Just today, but I've been getting back into it. And then she was like, hey, I'm doing a floss. I was like, all right. So I did. And you joined me. So that's fun. Now that's I, good. That's you're, very you're. meaningful. That's very awesome. I think that's all I have for today. If um, you had anything else to say, which I guess you just said what you had to say. Oh, I had a shout out. I wanted to mention Maxine at Nightmare Before Stitchmas. Is that cute or what? You got, you got to like shout her out like, Maxine at Nightmare Before Christmas. Stitchmas. Stitchmas. See what she did there? Yes, I see what she did. It's fine. <laughs> She's great. And it's funny because my friend Amber at Rogue Mama, she actually just shouted her out yesterday too um and so i was like what i was i've been planning to mention maxine because she's wonderful she's we, we've talked a few times on um instagram and i've been watching all her videos and she stitches a lot of halloween and other things and her videos are great nice clear images and lots to show she actually has finishes to show and things like that so i highly recommend that you go check her out she's actually guested on crafty stitchers uk who's another channel to go see if you haven't seen them before i'm planning on doing another floss tubers to watch so keep sending your suggestions i've had more people asking me to do another one of those so i checked this morning i had 53 53 views on it which i thought was a cool number put yourself on there you can't put yourself on there. What if I put you on there? Well, then if you make a video, but that's I'd be like, that stitches the ultimate, the ultimate YouTuber. Yeah, here's the 22 stitches to watch, and then I just put myself 22 times. <laughs> yeah, pretty Darcy much. Darcy said I should put him again as a joke, and I'm like, I don't know how that's going to go over with people. <laughs> you're like, be so, like, you're like, be like, Dar Darcy stitch. Wait a second, this sounds kind of familiar. Who snuck this in the script? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And... I, I want to mention too that I didn't, I had planned to go to a stitch retreat here in Florida last weekend and I wasn't able to go and uh, for reasons that I won't get into right now but I didn't make it but I'm hoping the next time I was really looking forward to meeting Stephanie and Debbie who are Sew Glover Creations and Alan Gator Stitcher here on FlossTube and Instagram. So next time, next time I'll get there. I'm really hoping to get to some stitch retreats finally and I am planning to go back to work so that I will have maybe some extra spending money for cross stitch. What is that? What money. Does that mean? Uh, money. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna have that kind of money. I'm just like <laughs> hundreds just flying off off my palms. But I uh, I renewed my nursing license that I had let lapse for a few years, and so I'm gonna go back and nurse some people. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nerd, take care of people. Yeah. All right, guys, that's enough. All that's right, enough yeah, I think, I think we're getting a little, uh, yeah. yeah, slap happy. That's how you, I, look what I did like you? this. I'm into it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. But we might have to cut that out. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you for watching and stuff. Make sure to subscribe and also check out Zat Stitch's channel as well. Fishing? What?